Is sustainability high on the agenda for consumers, especially with the cost of living crisis at the moment? Absolutely. I think this is a topic that is so much of interest to, to brands. Um, the way I look at it is I think probably we can sort of categorize customers into sort of three groups. The first group, which is, you know, absolutely amazing that is growing is the are the people who are absolutely passionate about uh, sustainability they uh, put this at the top of their priority list when they're making change when they're making purchases they have these red lines around some key issues and they will not purchase if those are not met so this could be things like cruelty free vegan companies that have a social purpose, et cetera, et cetera. The second group is what I would call people who are um, just um, expecting companies to do things anyway. So they kind of trust us to get on. They trust us that we're not doing bad things and they, they sort of get on with their, with their purchasing journey. Um, and, you know, sometimes they would choose companies that have better credentials, but in general, they sort of just trust us to do the right thing as brands. And then the third group are the customers who, for whom sustainability is not high on the priority list. Um, they would, um, choose products, especially and uh, you know, during the cost of living crisis, they would choose products that meet their their needs, and they wouldn't necessarily purchase based on sustainability. And looking at all of these groups, uh, it's, I absolutely believe that it is the job of brands to cater to all of them to some extent. And actually, this builds to what Jesse, to what Jesse was saying, is that. Um, you know, the brands have to have this almost built in sustainability in everything that they do, because this is a way to cater do to those people who already care about sustainability and make sure that they um, surface those things that the red lines effectively that the customers care about. At the same time, for the second group of customers that uh, effectively expect us to do the right thing, this links to how we communicate and how transparent we are, making sure that everything we say is based on reality, that we are actually doing the work so that they can carry on trusting us and obviously learn about the things that we're doing. And for the third group, well, I think again, you know, when you when you are doing the right thing, those people, whether they are choosing you for your price or for your ex for the experience or for the results of your products, etc., the fact that they are buying almost inadvertently a product that has a lower impact on the environment or um, better social credentials or is even regenerative, you're almost doing good through the back door. I always like to compare this to when you're giving broccoli to your kids, uh, you know, you mash them up and put it in the spark ball that effectively, even though they wouldn't choose a product just on sustainability. So, you know, which kids would go for broccoli over spark ball, but the fact that you are doing all the right things and making sure that it as good a product as you can make and as sustainable as you can make it and put it on the market, effectively, you are servicing all three types of customers at the same time. On the one hand, the customers who are, who choose for sustainability, you are giving them a product that absolutely delivers and improves their lives. For the second group, you build a trust. And for the third group, you are meeting their needs the on, on um, effect, on uh, effic effect efficacy on price etc but they are you know they are getting a really good product and i think you know from our perspective as a science-led skincare company sustainability is absolutely intrinsic to what we do but at the same time we know that our customers come to us for the fantastic um skincare results so you know we offer them um what we call beautiful skin beautiful skin for life um but i, I absolutely feel it's our job to make sure that that particular product is also, you know, has a lower environmental impact, a benefit um, from a social perspective. And, you know, we are doing all the right things as a company for them anyway.